Yeah, but they say that all the time, don't they? Do you know what I mean? It's Laurie, Michael. You had the other ones as well with the Rob Zombie films. They were all right, weren't they? I don't know, like 2018 I liked. Halloween Kills, not a big fan of. I'll be totally honest, weren't a big fan of it. But this one, I'm looking forward to, but I'm really nervous. So I should do an introduction properly, because this isn't any way to start a video. And then people that have not seen this channel will be like, what's this idiot doing? I'm bored. Greetings and salutations. This is Hit or Miss TV. My name's Ramon. Today on the show, we're going to be watching Halloween Ends, which is out now in all theatres around the world. And it's also available on Peacock in the United States and Now TV in the UK. That was a pretty good intro. I'm quite proud of that. I'm not going to do like a normal intro. I'm going to go into a bit more in depth as an intro. I'll try and keep it under about two minutes, then we'll get into the movie. Okay, so Halloween 1978. Absolutely love it. Love it dearly. Halloween 2, another one. I absolutely love. I think it's a perfect sequel to the original film. Number three, The Season of the Witch. I, I despise it. <laughs> you either love it or hate it, and there's some fans out there that think it's one of the best ones. It doesn't work to me. It just doesn't work to me. If you like it, cool for you, just not a fan of it. Anything after that, I've seen them all, I love them all, but they're not as good as the first two, in my personal opinion. The last one that I saw in the theatre was H2O, Halloween H2O, which was 20 after the, years after the original, which would be 1998. Jesus Christ, I'm old. Oh my God. So, anyway, I really loved that. It had LL Cool J in it, Josh Hartnett. It had that fit girl who was in Prison Break at the time. Yes, if you watch it now, she's a kid. I was a kid at the time, shut up. She played Gretchen in Prison Break. I forgot her name, but I fancied that pants off of her. Really like Halloween H2O. Then it was like Resurrection and yeah, less like, you know, Buster Rhymes. <whistles> Love Buster, bad boy hip hop star, but bad movie. Anyway, ah, no, 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 no. Katie Sackhoff was in that movie. I love Katie Sackhoff, so that's some redeeming qualities about it. Katie Sackhoff, legend. Anyway, then you had Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween, and Halloween 2. I really, really love the first one. I know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about it, but to me, seeing a young Michael Myers growing up, and I love Rob Zombie. I love his music. I loved him. I grew up with that music. Uh, White Zombie. Super Beast is still one of my favourite rock records of all time. The second movie, not so much. I think it lost its way to me, that, that had studio involvement. I don't know the story behind it, but to me that says studio involvement all over that movie. If you've not seen these stuff anyway, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, Rob Zombie, The Devil's Rejects, Free From Hell. That trilogy are very special to me, just very special to me. And a lot of his earlier movies, Rob Zombie's just, they just remind me of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and all that kind of vibe. He zoned into that world and it's, it's magic to me. Fast forward to 2018, we've got Halloween, the reboot remake. I was a bit on the fence about it because I quite like the Rob Zombie ones. I thought, are we doing this again? 2018, really liked it. I don't think it's like the, the best of the bunch, but if you look at all the Halloween films in general, it is in the sort of top five, maybe, maybe top five. It's a good film, it is a good film. There's a few things in it I wasn't too keen on, but in general, Halloween, Halloween 2018, I will watch that again. I think it's a good film. Uh, Halloween Kills, I didn't like the movie. I watched it on here with my sister last year. We reacted to it, had a good, it was more nostalgia than anything because we hadn't seen a Halloween movie together since we were kids. So watching something like this now for us being adults, it was a nice moment for me and my sister. I enjoyed it and I love her company. So when we watched that, I enjoyed it. And there was the scene with Donald Pleasance, which was CGI because obviously he's passed away as Dr. Loomis, the wonderful Dr. Loomis. We love you, Donald Pleasance. If you've not seen The Great Escape with him, go and watch it. It's fucking amazing. So yeah, I didn't like the whole it dies tonight thing. I get it once, but it dies tonight. Yeah, all right, I get it, mate. Yeah, but I'm telling you, evil dies tonight. Michael's out there. Michael is out there. Evil dies t So I kind of, I weren't really on board with the second one as much. The scenes with Michael, oh, heaven, heaven. The gay couple, do you remember the gay couple in Halloween Kills? That was one of the saddest, saddest sequences I've seen in a Halloween movie. It really was. I know they were kind of, oh, let's put a gay couple in there and everything. That doesn't really bother me. I don't care about any of that. But the way that that was executed and what happened to him, I felt so sorry for him. I felt so sorry for him. They just, they were such cool dudes. Do you know what I mean? But in general, I felt the movie lost its way. Is he a man or is he a monster? Like, what, 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 what myth are we going with? Are we going with the mythology that this is just a man? Or are we going with the one where he's invincible? Oh, we're going with the invincible one. He's been shot, stabbed in the head. His arms have been chopped off. He's been set on fire and thrown in to the fucking volcano and he's just come out and he's, he's fine. There's a couple of reasons I'm worried about this, right? 
This isn't just to be negative and hate, I'm, I'm genuinely concerned. When a movie comes out that's a blockbuster movie, you have as many people on channels like myself, Matthew Haynes, all the big channels, I'm not a big channel, I'm a small channel, but I'm talking about all these guys that have large audiences. The best thing you can do as a studio is get previews to these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, come to a preview or they send you an online preview so you can review the movie a week beforehand to create hype around the movie. That's the whole purpose. It doesn't mean that you're going to spoil it because if you're a critic and you're in a position of power to, to even get access to these kind of films, then it's better to give it to people that are in these positions with a large audience because yo, a large audience is bums on seats, right? That's logical, we can all agree on that, right? Normally, you have around three or four days. Around three or four days prior to a movie coming out is like the embargo, which means you can put the, the review out and stuff. Halloween Kills embargo was two hours before the movie came out. That's worrying. That's seriously, seriously worrying to me. Now, you could say it's a bit of genius marketing, but it isn't because I haven't seen anyone. It's only like the likes of us guys that are like hardcore horror fans that are really checking this out. We're talking about the world, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? You're talking about the people that go to see Marvel. You've got to get everyone to the theatre to make money. That's the whole point. It's only us horror fanatics and because it's Halloween, October month, that we're all excited for it because we're hardcore fans. But for your general Bob on the street, they're not going to know this is... Oh, look, there's a Halloween movie. I don't, I don't know. Do you see what I mean? So it's very, very strange for a studio to say no reviews, no nothing until two hours before the movie comes out. That's really concerning. That's number one. I haven't read any spoilers. I haven't read nothing like that. All I've seen from all the big people, which you guys no doubt are the same, have seen the same thing. This is going to be the most divisive and controversial Halloween of all time. So I'm automatically going, what are we doing? I even see one person say this is going to be the last Jedi of Halloween. It's just put me on a downer. I'll be honest with you, it's put me on a fucking downer. Like, I'm dreading it. I'm dreading watching this movie. I hope that I come away from it and I'm like, this was amazing. I hope I come away and I'm like, yes! Non-spoiler reviews is that this isn't really about Michael and it isn't really about Laurie. This is the final fucking movie. How can it not be about those characters? And they've introduced a new character into the franchise, which is gonna be fo solely focused on that character. So it's a new person coming into it as the last movie. What? The fuck? So I don't know how true that is. I don't know how accurate that is. But all the people I look up to and respect in terms of people that do content on YouTube and social media, by majority, coming back and saying the same sort of thing like, what was this? I appreciate they tried to do something different, but like it's a bit late in the game to start playing fuck about, you know what I mean? I know that's an extremely negative intro, but my mindset's not gonna be like that once the film's gonna start. I am gonna be excited because it's Halloween. Halloween, it's Michael Myers. It's the one and only Jamie Lee Curtis, John Carpenter's flipping Halloween, Donald Pleasance. Like these are classic, classic movies. So without further ado, and I do apologize for doing a long intro, but I feel it's justified over something as classic as this. This is like doing a Nightmare on Elm Street, a fucking Friday the 13th. These are special movies in my heart and these mean a lot to me and to many of you as well. So I'm anxious, I'm nervous, Halloween kills, which I weren't a massive fan of. If it's at that kind of level, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. If it's a lot worse than that, I'm going to rip the shit out of it at the end of this. So stay tuned because at the very end of this video, depending on how it goes, I might be on one, which I don't normally do on the channel. I don't normally go off on one. But when it comes to classic horror, you don't mess with my babies. You don't do it. So let's get into this. Halloween night, 2019. Oh, is this where the last one finished up, wasn't it? Didn't her daughter or something get done at the end of the movie? Do you remember, in the window? Hydrangeas can really balance out that Saving dog. for college? Where'd you say you're going? I'm just saving money this year so I can go Jeremy, the sitter's here! Jeremy. Who's Jeremy? Jeremy. <laughs> Good boy. Help yourself to anything in the fridge. I wouldn't mind helping myself to a flipping knicker drawer, mate. That's so wrong, isn't it? That's so wrong, I didn't mean that. Jeremy's been afraid of the dark. He's okay. been wetting the bed at night. And, um, bedtime has been difficult. <laughs> Poor kid. Then, he should go to bed. Easy money. Yes. Easy money. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be easy money though, is it? It's gonna... The Thing, absolutely classic John Carpenter's. Okay, man, it's gonna get you. He's 
not gonna get me. Michael Myers kills babysitters, not kids. That's true. He, he does. He don't go after the kids, does he? Except his sister. Why don't we shut this off? You can play hide and seek before bed. Your parents are gonna be home soon. Oh, that's a good idea. Play play hide and seek on Halloween. Great idea. Heineken, good beer. Not the best, but a good beer. Oh, I have a bit of chocolate cake with chocolate milk. Is he playing a prank on him? Behind you, shadows. Jeremy! That's a big old house, isn't it? Is the kid pranking him? He's got to be. The knife's gone. What the heck is going on, man? Don't mess around, man. Get up there. But then, got to be careful with the knife because the kid. Oh, the knife the other way around. <gasps> is he going to accidentally hurt a kid? Is that what's going to happen? I've got a feeling he's going to accidentally stab him. Yeah, I think he's going to accidentally kill him. Oh my god! I don't think he deserved to go off the top banister, but. Act like a dick, this is what happens. I'm not feeling the intro as much as the last one. I don't like having a kick drum, it's too cheesy. And I don't like the CGI pumpkin. Just put a fucking pumpkin with a candle. That's all you need, mate. Michael Myers was pure evil. He took our dreams and turned them into nightmares. The magic, the magic. I disappeared into mine. That's what made the last one so good because he was physically behind bars and she couldn't get past it, which is understandable to an extent, like the trauma in the brain. It's going to mess you up, bruv. And killed my daughter. Oh, that's sticking with a sticking with that. He really did kill her. And then he vanished. So he's gone. Okay. You think he's come back? Michael doesn't use guns. Oh, wow. Uh, I bought a home, a place to live with love and trust. Not a trap, not a place to hide. Yeah, well, regardless of what happens, I like that intro by Jamie Lee. That was nice. I will say this. She will always be regarded as one of the top girls in horror. Regardless of this, whatever happens in this, whatever, she's always going to be a G in my book. No! <laughs> oh, she burnt her pie. Stabbed up, and then he fall down the street and get back up to skin up. Piss out of everybody. Hang on, if that's the same kid, how come he ain't in jail? Corey, you're late. You're late again. Yeah, so he's not in jail for murdering a child. Okay. I got no use for it no more. Are you serious? With a good engine pushing you, finally make it to work on time, you know what I mean? <laughs> kind of shitty. That's nice of the guy to help him out. There are good people in the world, see? Thanks. No problem, kid. There are some good people in the world still. What is he turning to Pennywise the clan? He's hiding in the sewers. Hey, ya lorry! You don't have your ID? Oh, hello, Hey, yo! That's a nice mullet that kid's got. Just, just for me and my crew. Come on, man. Uh, no. No, no, thank you. No. Kill the kid and too pussy to buy some fucking Guys, you know what? Let's just fucking forget about it. Let's go to the game, okay? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh shit! Ha! <laughs> oh, knock it off! We're not Should doing we... anything! We're just talking. Well, go on, Laurie. A psycho meets a freak show. Wow. <laughs> this is a match made in heaven. That is a bit fucking stupid, the way that that was acted, but... So do you want to do it? Or you want me to? The Laurie's a bit of a gangster, is she? Cute, isn't she? I don't... Clean it up and get a goddamn sterile kick. He's a crap doctor, isn't he? Why can't the bicycle stand on its own? No, no, it can't. It's got a kickstand. Because it was too tired. Ha 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 ha. Because it's too tired. Ooh. I got a motorcycle. Oh, a motorcycle. Teach me to ride it. Well, it's got very friendly very quickly. I'm going to be late for dinner, but uh, I appreciate the hand. I'm going to call him Simple Simon for the movie duration. That's, 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 sim 
Simple Simon. That pretty much puts a nail in the coffin with that police officer you were dating. Well, that dude that stopped, she was banging him. I don't remember that. That makes you want to rip off your shirt and show grief your fucking tits and say, you know what? Let's go. That's the Laurie Strode we love. What the hell are you doing? It's a phone, you stupid cow. Boys who keep secrets don't get custard for dessert. Is she fucking retarded? Ah, oh, sorry. Right hand is gas. Also, your front brake. She's obviously been on a bike before and she's gonna just take control. Hey, Ronnie. I'm sorry to lie to you. Oh, no! Higher on a goddamn automobile. As your luck. The rattle. Your rattle. Your car's. Uh, I don't care about the rattle. I came to see you. She's very forward, isn't she? Women are not like that at all. I like your hair. Thanks. Ah, uh, these two. Oh, wonderful. Love these two. My niece gave me a Rosetta Stone, and now I'm learning Japanese. Shatsu o Nakushita. What's that mean? Means I lost my shirt. <laughs> you bloody idiot. I like your face. I mean, I like seeing your face. So do you. I mean, I do too. I like. Ah. Uh, ask him over for some flipping pie or something. That was sweet. You tempted it and you provoked that man when you should have left him alone. That was the woman from the last movie, right? With the husband. Yeah, she was on the, t the table and he, he kept stabbing someone on the table, right? Okay, people blame her. Yeah, good. They both need a bit of, a bit of happiness, mate. So my prediction's gonna be that they're gonna bump into those kids who are gonna bully him and bully him more and more and more and then he's gonna flip, this kid, and then he's gonna become a killer. But it's not gonna be anything to do with Michael Myers. It's very reminiscent the way they're portraying this as a young Michael Myers. Remember, is that the same? Is that the same thing he wore in the first movie, or was it a clown when he was a little boy? I can't remember, but it's giving me those vibes. They're both as crazy as one another, it seems. Oh no, that's the mum. Oh no. Is this your dance? Are you having a good time? Oh dear. It was an accident. I can understand her point of view though, she's lost her kid. I can understand him because it weren't his fault. Boy, watch out. Boy. Oh, it's close, mate. Well, when I look at you, when I saw you the other day, I just saw a person, just a person, just trying to figure it the fuck out. So maybe she's, okay, that's maybe why she's attracted to him because she identifies with someone who's similar. I get it, you survived Michael Myers. You're a hero with your struggles and ask anyone. I'm the psycho babysitter. I'm the fucking kid killer. It's like they're both messed up individuals. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Life circumstances. There you are, man. I've been looking for you. I want to apologize. So what do you say, Corey, huh? Handshakes and friendship. That jock is going over the side. I know what it looks like when somebody hates you. When your father fucking hates you. Hmm? Oh, oh, shit! Oh, no. He went over the side. It weren't the jock. Well, someone went over the side. I didn't push nobody. He fell. Bullshit. He fell? Yeah, that's my story. So they're no different from what he was, really. Except they done it on purpose. He didn't. Oh. Bye, kid. Told you, it's Pennywise the Clown. Take a breath. Okay. Just let me be mad. Why can't I be mad? You can be mad. You can be very, very mad. And just plug it in. <gasps> So why is Michael Myers living in the sewers? What's going on? Is it like Batman? Like the birth of Batman, but with rats. So it's Ratman. Oh. Michael! What is going on? What is going on? Huh? 
I'm confused, man. So did Michael Myers just look in his eyes and uh, become a, what do you call it? Is he a fucking Jedi? I don't know what that was about. Why did he let you live? You go back in there and you get me that man. Oh, he's just a crazy old man. Okay, so what? Why? Huh? So Michael Myers pulled him into a sewer, grabbed his throat, looked in his eyes, done a Jedi thing on him. He got out. There's a homeless guy there that says, I'm Michael Myers, and he killed him. So it's just a kid who's flipping out and he's just had enough of life and he's just going to go psycho. Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? I'm just waiting for Alice. That was kissed from the gas station that were messing with me. I tried to stand up for myself and they, um... Right, okay, so like... No excuse, but if you could please, if you could just take a walk with me, please. Why is he there all, like, begging and stuff? This is all strange. It's like there was some big thing. All he did was walk off. Like, why is she acting like they had some massive thing? They went out on a date, he walked away, and he's just like, oh, can we have a talk? And it's like a big deal now. And then... Michael Myers grabbed him, and it's like a psych psychic thing, and then, like, he's becoming Michael Myers. Like, what? What? I don't understand why you're here. No, no. He's seeing my granddaughter. Your granddaughter should be so lucky as to be with a boy like Corey. He's sensitive. This woman's an absolute fucking idiot. I don't like her at all. This town turned against him after the accident with Jeremy Allen. They would have helped him heal, but because your boogeyman disappeared, they needed a new one. So it's somehow her fault. Really? Really? I think both your parents got killed and your grandma feels guilty about it, so she's making you her child. I'm just terrified to think what would happen if she were all alone if I left. Like, this is more realistic of, of how people would act going through trauma, right? Guy's gone through trauma, she's gone through trauma. I get that, but I'm not seeing the angle here of what this is all meant to be about. You two want to stop by, get a slice after whatever you guys are doing. We're good. He's next then. Right? She said we're good. But you got a problem? We're good. Who behaves like this? No one acts like this. Nobody. He's a cop, right? Nobody acts like this, bruv. Nobody. Psycho. Good, Melanie? It's all good. It's all good. We need to go kick somebody there? These are dudes that are at my fucking age, and he's going, like, do we need to go and kick somebody's ass? You're police officers. Come sit by my side. This feels more like a character study of someone who's gone through crap and becomes something. Separate from Halloween, that's a great idea. It's an interesting concept. Disturbed girl who's gone through shit, a dude who's gone through shit, they come together and they find a common dom denominator between their trauma and you go, wow, there's a connection there. I like that, that's great. But what the fuck does this have to do with Halloween? Like, why, 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 why is a policeman, whatever, following him out into the middle of nowhere? Like, why? These are grown men, there's a grown man, It's a grown man. So is he, what's he doing, taking food to Michael? Like, what is going on? And he's a cop who's been drinking and driving as well. Just like I said, he's going to be taking in people to Michael. I don't get it at all. So he's helping Michael attack people. Show me how to do it. Get up! Oh well, okay. I think you got him. Yeah, there's a lot of this that's not really adding up. I don't hate it yet. There's a lot of this is not really adding up to what Michael Myers is and is meant to be, and it's I'm a bit like that with it. Who did this to you? Hey. Yeah, it's a strange old thing that's going on here, really, isn't it? Uh oh, and you set her up with a psycho. It's your own fault, Laurie. Oh, Michael's there. He can walk now, and he's fine now. This is just not making much sense, is it? You talk to me like I'm not even here. Do you ever just shut your goddamn mouth? <laughs> I know, right? He's rubbing off on her now. Weeks of collusion. It's not a straight up swap. You want to win the championship with class? Stop cheating. Why do I get the feeling now she's going to just start killing people? You know, some kids, you can tell they're a pain in the ass, but Corey was a good kid. I just couldn't imagine he'd be capable of hurting anyone on purpose. That was the father of the kid. 
and I pull up next to him. What happened? The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Right then, I felt like I got my answer. Did the town do this to him after the accident? Or was it always there? No, it's the cause of trauma why you would go off the rails, but then that doesn't mean you're going to turn into a fucking serial killer, does it? Every person that's got trauma doesn't turn into a serial killer. Here's Tell Me With Your Eyes. This house yeah, is right. so rich. Oh. So the doctor and this nurse girl are going to be executed now by oh, new Michael. Simple Simon. <laughs> okay, well, we've got to have the sex scene, so once they start banging, that means that they can be taken care of, right? So she's banging the boss and gets a promotion. Age old towel, isn't it, really? Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> He's gone. Dr. Mathis? Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, it is him doing it. Simple Simon. Oh, look, they're working as a duo. This just doesn't make sense, man. At all. At all. At all. Knife to the wall like the first movie. Yeah, it's an identical one to the first film. It was always one of my favourites, to be honest. Stand there, do the head tilt. Then it comes the infamous head tilt, yeah. But in terms of Halloween films, this just doesn't sit right. It's not... It's just not sitting right. Corey, what are you? Oh. I don't get it. Like, I don't get the angle here of what it's... Oh, what's the message trying to be? Corey Cunningham. What you doing out here, you ugly motherfucker? <laughs> Once Willie get in the air, favorite song stuck in your head. Y'all get the hell up off my property before I fuck y'all up. He's next, obviously. I don't want to be in Haddonfield anymore. I want to be with you. And now she's stalking them. It all just doesn't add up. That's where you go every night. You go right now! Get out of my house! You're next, Mum. <laughs> what on earth is going on? What is going on? It's more dangerous. Because we may not know we're infected. Am I a bad person? Yes! Stay the fuck away. You started this! You brought me in! You invited me! You want to help Alice and let her live her life? This is just... It's a bit silly, you know? I'm the psycho. You're the freak show. It's all very, very mixed... Mixed feelings of what it's trying to say and do. We need to leave. I can't right now. I'm working. We need to leave, right? Got work back working. There's no one said nothing about the doctor who's dead and the nurse. So he's taken Michael Myers' mask because he wants to be Michael Myers. It's completely destroying the mythology. It's completely destroying the essence, the magic. I don't know what this is meant to be. And the kids have just been putting in there to, to be cannon fodder, so there needs to be a house at the end where he executes everyone as Michael Myers. He is capable of real harm. Is that what bothers you? Suspicion or paranoia? You got an inkling? I went to his home. Your boss is dead. The nurse is dead. Loads of other people were dead that are next to you. Because of the hysteria that you caused when I trusted you, my friends are dead. How is that her fault? How is that her fault? There's a psychopath that was out there killing everyone. If it wasn't for Laurie, you would all be dead. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Billy. Come on, Terry, hurry up, man. Someone's here. Billy. There's no more Billy, and you're next. Suck your own. Oh my god! Terry? 
Shock, shock horror. Run, little rabbits. Run. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. It did near all the screaming and shouting, but the fence he heard. And then the Michael Myers mask. Here we go. Stay here. So is he going to kill old man as well? If he does, that's just dumb. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh wow. Hot head. Like it just doesn't feel like nothing. Do you see what I'm saying? It's just a dude wearing his mask and doing what he's doing. So it's like, okay. Like I don't feel nothing, you know? Oh look, Shuck Horror, he's gone there as well. It's just very, very generic, man. So generic. Life would be a mistake. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Halloween Kills is a much better movie than this. And I didn't really like that. But it felt like a Halloween movie. This doesn't feel like a Halloween movie at all. Oh, wow. Cat got your tongue. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. That's the best one so far. Please. And I just want you to come home. So he's basically destroyed everyone. Every person that he knows except her and he's obviously going to go after Laurie at the end. If this movie was just called The Madman and it had no mask and it had nothing to do with it, I'd go, this is a really good movie. I would really like it. It's an interesting concept of a person that's gone into despair, depression, mental health, lost their path and become what they become, which is a fantastic idea for the story. However, this is not that. This is Halloween. This is supposed to be about Michael Myers. Halloween. And this has nothing to do with it. Like, it has nothing to do with it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. She should know that he's coming there. It's like the obvious cliche next move. He's going to be standing outside in a mask, isn't he? Gun. Good girl. I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis, her, her performance in this has been fantastic. It feels like Laurie Strode. It feels like it's meant to feel. Road. No way, she's going to end herself. Are you joking me? No way, Laurie, come on. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed off if she kills herself, bruv. And he's going to be there, isn't he? Yeah, he's outside. No, she didn't do it. She couldn't have done it. Oh, well done, well done. Good girl. We'll kill him, just execute him. You came here to kill me, so do it. What? What? If I can't have her. Oh. You son of a bitch. No, it looks like she done it, and then she loses her, oh dear, oh dear. Well, the mask is on the floor. It's not difficult to figure out. Is she just going to ignore the mask that's next to it on the floor? Like, hello? Why don't she say nothing? Like, why don't she say nothing? She's like going mad. Look, there's the Michael Myers mask. He was wearing it trying to kill me. You fucking idiot. Now you know that he's there. The real Michael Myers is there now. So this is what we wanted to see all along. <laughs> he stabbed himself in the neck, like how is he moving? 
Okay. Okay, snap. Fuck knows how he was alive anyway after being shot two or three times, falling off a banister and stabbing himself in the neck when he's just a man. And that's another thing wasn't explored enough is how with that other cop, was it Will Patton, the old cop? Like, that was nice, that should have been explored more. Oh, she's making some popcorn. Should have known better than that, Laurie. He's too smart. Oh, it's like the cupboard in the first one. Go on, Laurie. No. Come on, Laurie. No. Come on, Laurie. Yep, go on, go on, knife. To the face, in the head. Oh, yeah, 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 put his... No, no! Yeah, go on, smack him up. Straight through the head, straight through the head. Oh, in the foot. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Bollocks. Oh, no. Well done. <laughs> yeah, she's having it. Go on, girl. Go on, Laurie. Ouch. Straight in the hand. All frying pan. <laughs> yeah, mate. What's she gonna do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's next? How the hell is he gonna get out of that? He ain't moving out of that. So this is the end of Michael Myers, eh? Nice shot, nice shot. Damn. So come on, let's see the fella. What's going on? I have chased you. I have tried to contain you. I have tried to forgive you. Come on, Laurie. You're just a man who's about to stop breathing. Yep, just like that. How, 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 how is it, how? Is he gonna kill her as well? No, I don't want Laurie to die. Go on, psycho. I'm not gonna let this happen to you. What? She didn't give a fuck about her just now. Bye, Mikey. I like that scene. The holding hands, that made me a bit emotional, mate. <sighs> that was the best scene in the whole movie. Mike! Bit late, ain't you, mate? Michael. Michael, it's the end of, he's gone, he's finished. Time for Haddonfield to start healing. Show them all. Okay. What are they gonna do with the body? This is not how it works. It is tonight. The evil dies tonight. Oh. <laughs> you had such a you see what I mean? You had a magic moment there and you just go, ugh. So what are they doing? Having like a big thing where everyone can see that it's really him dead. Yeah, and then it's like over, and then they can all get on with their lives. But we're like, why are they carrying him like he's all oh, the Messiah? It's fucking stupid, bruv. Grind him up into mush. They've done everything else. I mean, he's definitely gone after that. Oh! He's, he's gone now, hasn't he? You think so, dear? You think so, do you? The events of Haddonfield that created so much violence and bloodshed 
finally had resolve. Jamie Lee Curtis is great. I still love Jamie Lee, she's amazing, but the rest of it, blase, bro. Fear moves through all of us, and we decide when to surrender. I've said goodbye to my boogeyman, but the truth is evil doesn't die. No, see, it doesn't die, because I'll be remaking it again. There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. I wanted you to know I was thinking about you. Ah. Oh. Thank you for what you did. Enjoy. Is it Michael Myers mask? <laughs> See, this is what it should have been focusing on the whole time. They barely had scenes together and they were the best thing in it. Yeah, the traditional of showing all the locations of the film. That's cool. But that was awful. That's an awful movie. That was terrible. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Halloween Ends. What did I think about it? I thought it was absolutely terrible. So let me just get into a few things now. Please bear with me. I'm just going to quickly go through this properly, okay? So let's just, just be honest, right? I'm looking at all of the movies now, right? Halloween, Halloween 2, Season of the Witch, Return of Michael Myers, The Revenge of Michael Myers, The Curse of Michael Myers, H2O, Halloween Resurrection, The Rob Zombie 1 and 2, and then these Halloween, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Right, cool. I would personally say, this is my own personal choice, I would put Halloween Kills and Season of the Witch as the worst worst two in the franchise which I didn't enjoy however after watching this one this one goes to the very very bottom I'm sorry season of the witch is my least favorite and then this one is my least favorite even the one with Buster Rhymes is 10 times better than this movie this film has so many problems that I can't even begin to break down everything that I didn't like about this movie okay so this is off the top of my head fresh from just watching it so it's not gonna be all computerized yet Corey, the main guy, I thought the idea, the idea of what this was is a fantastic idea for a standalone movie that isn't Halloween. So like you watch a movie like Saw or you watch a movie like Silence of the Lambs, you watch these movies about serial killers, Manhunter, they're good, hor like good thriller horror movies, yeah? These are fantastic movies. Now, if you remove what the mask was the Michael Myers mask and this was just about a guy in a town and it was just called the madman like I said during recording this would have been a really really good movie because I like the idea of it it's a guy who goes through trauma he accidentally kills a kid when he's babysitting and you go wow the effect that that must have on someone then the family who hate him the townsfolk will be like this guy's a murderer how did he get off with it that's a lot of trauma right this movie to me felt like a studio and the writers that done this david gordon green it feels like they didn't have any fucking clue what to do with the film or what they needed to do with the franchise so they just had an alternative story they had a film over there that they were going to write it wasn't a halloween movie they had a film over there look there's this film we want to make and then they got the rights to do the halloween movies right we've got all these oh do you remember that film over there that we had that other story make let's make that film and at the end of it just fucking throw the mask in it that's how it felt like to me this had absolutely nothing to do with the original halloween movies now you could say there's going to be people out there that say that they love this they took it in a new direction and everything else but it isn't anything to do with michael myers and halloween why did he look in the guy's eyes and then all of a sudden he's got psychic abilities as a fucking Jedi? So then he couldn't walk properly and he was all limp and twisted and I'm an old man and I can't move. But then all of a sudden he's superhuman again. What the fuck is that about? Like, I don't understand what it was trying to approve or what it was trying to achieve. So in, the, in Halloween uh, Kills, he got shot, blown up, thrown into a volcano and then he disappeared and he lives in a sewer like Pennywise the Clown. What is that about? What is that about? So let's talk about some of the good. Not being a Halloween movie, because I don't view this as a Halloween movie, to be honest with you the last four and a half minutes with it was a Halloween movie that's all it should have been it should have just been 20 that's what they should have released they should have released two years later three years later after the last movie Halloween kills yeah three or four years later it should have just had her at home and it should have just had Michael Myers attack and then she killed him that would have been it that would have been better than that whole movie that's Halloween that's Halloween. The things that I did like, removing the name Halloween from it, removing Michael Myers' mask and it's just a, a random person, fantastic. I think it's a good movie based on that. As a Halloween film, it's terrible because 
it isn't anything to do with the original franchise. I don't hate it as much as I hated The Last Jedi. It weren't as insulting to the brand. It didn't take the piss out of the brand. But this just kind of didn't know what it was doing. I felt like they were making this movie and they're like, what can we do with Michael Myers? I'm gonna make something up off the top of my fucking head without even knowing, right? Without even thinking about it. Let's just think, right, butterflies, dingleberries, cherries and strawberries. Right, the last one ended, Michael Myers killed her daughter and you go, wow, that's pretty disgusting, right? Cole, all that you needed to do in this movie is her writing a book, the book came out, she becomes this famous person, she's getting on with her life and you go, wow, I'd, I would have liked to have seen the relationship develop with her and Will Patton, the, the police officer, because I thought that was nice. I would have liked to have seen the first half of the movie with her life nice developing i'm getting over it i'm getting on with my life then somehow i don't know how introduce michael but have it so it would have been a more secluded thing and it was just her and him and maybe the cop and the, the, the granddaughter or whatever in a secluded location out in the middle of nowhere and it's just an intense scary terrifying horror that's all you needed to do i got really emotional at the end because she was holding his hand I was like oh even thinking about it, brother, I'll get emotional. <laughs> because these films mean a lot to people. These characters mean a lot to people. I love Michael Myers. I love Laurie Strode. The moment of him holding hands and her cutting his wrist and it's like farewell. That's what fans want to see. We want the farewell and love and respect a franchise like this deserves. This was insulting. This was just a bunch of fuckers that had had a script and gone, yeah, you've got this one over here, throw the mask in. That's all it is to me. This is not a Halloween movie. It's not a Halloween movie. I don't know what to say. Is it as bad as I thought it was going to be? No, I thought it was going to be worse than this. I thought it was going to be a worse movie than this. Maybe in time, I'll look at this again and enjoy it. But when Michael came in, it was just like, what the fuck is Michael Myers doing in this movie? It's like, is, is he in the wrong movie? Just That doesn't make sense, does it? Because when he was introduced, I'm like, this, this doesn't feel like a Halloween movie. It doesn't act like a Halloween movie. Then Michael turns up and it's like, he's in the wrong film, isn't he? Like, this isn't, this isn't his movie. So, you know, it doesn't make sense. The only way I can describe it finally my only way i can describe this movie and this is from the bottom of my heart from the bottom of my heart this is like having terminator one brilliant movie terminator two judgment day brilliant subjectively could be better for some people brilliant but i like the first one because of michael bean Mwah. legend aliens bad boy hicks so it's like having what was i saying terminator Terminator 2. And imagine now we've had 40 years since Terminator 2. Just say we've had 40 years since Terminator 2. Brand new one comes out, right? Brand new one comes out. It's High School Musical. The movie's High School Musical. Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens. Is that her name? Jennifer Hudgens, Vanessa Hudgens? It's High School Musical, yeah? But then the last 10 minutes of the movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger comes in as a fight with, with um, Zac Efron at the end. And you go, fucking hell, that's Terminator. But it's not really a fucking Terminator movie, is it? It's High School Musical with that thrown in at the end because they didn't know what to do. That's this movie. That's the only way I could describe this. Describe it. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. What would I give it out of 10, honestly? And without my emotions and everything being involved, I'd say it's probably a 5 out of 10. It's not like a 1 or a 2 out of 10. It's not a terribly made movie. It's, it's an, a good movie, but it disrespects Michael Myers, it disrespects the story of Halloween. Jamie Lee was fantastic, Will Patton was fantastic, but in terms of a Halloween film, this isn't it. And this is definitely not the end. I'm sorry, but that's utter bollocks. It's bollocks. You know it, I know it. This isn't gonna be the end. It should have been the end. The way it started in 2018, I was like, yes, bruv. Perfect intro. Yep, we've got this absolute psycho, cold-hearted killer. This is really gonna go somewhere. I'm really liking this. The next one, yeah, it's all right. No, I'm not that big of a fan, to be quite honest. But at least it had some scary moments. You know, the gay couple I said, love them. The couple next door, fantastic. Great moments, like scary, that Michael Myers, magic. This one, the fuck did I just watch? So yeah, five out of 10. I don't hate it, it didn't work for me, but I do think it had qualities in the movie. It was interesting. It was taking a new direction. It just didn't work for me at all as a Halloween movie, as something completely different. As I keep saying, if it was just called The Madman without the Halloween mask, 
I would have gone, you know what, that's a really good film. Because I wouldn't have had no emotional attachment to it. It would have just been, it should have just been the, the son or whatever the fuck he's, Corey. It should have just been a story about this fella. And at the very end of it, she's trying to protect her niece from this guy who's actually a psycho and she figures out he's a psycho. The niece doesn't understand because she's young and the grandmother is trying to protect her niece. And it's a psycho. And it ends up being a battle between the grandmother and this, this crazy guy. Fantastic as a film. Brilliant idea. Works. I really like it. Halloween, new. Five out of ten. Watch it at your own peril. I would love to know what you think down in the comments. This is a lot more than I normally go into in a movie and doing a movie review, but it's something that means so much to me. I know that a lot of you are going to disagree with me, but to be honest, suck your mum. I'm joking. If you like this movie, honestly, if you like this movie, that's great. Like, I'm happy if you've enjoyed this and you've gone like, this is amazing. I'm happy for you, man. I just don't think it works and I don't think it will work for a lot of the fans. If they really, really wanted to piss off the fan base, I've not even, you know what I'm saying? All I've seen is a couple of reviews that I've read, like paper reviews. I've not seen anything online yet. So I'm going to do that after this. I don't know what people think yet, but my presumption is that majority of people are going to be like, what the fuck is this? That's what I think is going to happen. And I don't know why they chose to do this now. This is the big finale. Yeah, let's take a big fucking risk and fuck it up. Why? I don't know. We're not hard to please, boys and girls. We're not hard to please. It's quite simple. If you look at Top Gun that come out earlier this year, brilliant film. What did they do? Simple story, teaching some people. Let's do this. Let's do that. There's a plot line, bit of love, bit of romance, happy, sad, some loss, some tragedy, emotions felt, big climax at the end. How fucking easy is it? It's, it's just not that difficult. It's just not that difficult in terms of story writing. It's not that difficult to please people. It really isn't. Well, that's the most I've ever ranted on a video. That's, I've never done this on a video before. I've normally said I like or dislike saying that's the most I've ever emotionally let out on a film. I don't know what to say. Maybe I'll come back and I might, I might come back and enjoy it. But I had to get that off my chest because that's my initial reaction. I've literally just pressed stop and we're talking. So yeah, I would love to know what you all think about this. I'll be back again tomorrow night. And guess what we've got tomorrow? Me, my sister and her partner watched Scream 2022 and we had a really good time and it's out tomorrow night on the channel. And this week we've got loads more. I can't even remember what films we've got on the channel. Hocus Pocus 2, because I wanted to watch that anyway. I quite enjoyed it. It was goofy, it's silly, but it was fun. But then it's back to like the horror, horror, horror. We're going to be covering Terrifier 2, Pearl. There's a new monster movie called The Lair. Someone yesterday said we want to see Grim Cutty on the channel, which is on Hulu. So I'm going to do that. Yeah. Five out of 10, Halloween ends. I'd love to know what your review is. Let us know down in the comments. So until tomorrow, my name is Ramon. This is Hit or Miss TV. Peace. Thank you for watching Hit or Miss TV. If this is the first time you're watching, please consider subscribing and check out our other videos.